cool YouTube land. Today on the Tony Baron, we're going to take this little cutting board here and we're going to turn it into a sign. And sand her down, put a print on it, wood burn it out, put some clear coat on it, put the wood burner here. It's just a little Chinese brand. And wood shield, polymer, wood finish to put over top of it. So, the first thing is we'll take some sandpaper to have right here. Cheap sandpaper, get the right grit, sand it down a little bit just to take off the old finish. Just sort of packages, comes with different grit, sandpaper, 80, 100, 120, probably 60 there yet, 60. We want 20 and an 80. I normally use. Stick them down there on the shelf. I'll we'll take the 80 first, the heavier grit. Fold up our paper to make a little square. Fold it in half. And fold it in half again. And that makes our little sand in square. And then just roll this really quickly just to take off the light coat that's on the top. The old vein. That stuff off. And the 80 grit will take it off pretty quick. Switch it over. The okay. old vein is just all that the sandpaper pushes in anything. And it's a little bit of 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 Over off with the 80. Looks like pretty much most of it. There. And for the 80, we just switch over to the 120 to clean it up a little better. Take some of the deep scratches out that the 80 left. Polish it up a little bit. This is all self destruction. You can do this as much as you want. Stand it right down smooth if you want. Leave it to rough. It's all self, self decision of what you want. That's one of the big knives out of it. That's what gives it its character. There. Let's move her down for us where we need it. Wipe her off. Let's go back from here. Alright, then we grab a piece of paper. We can do this right on top. It's grabbing paper. Line this up on kind of the way we want it. Just a single piece here. I'm used to writing on a few pieces. We only need one. And then we'll write on the paper what we want to write on the board, how we want it, and everything. So I'm going to label this the Tawny Burn because that's where we're working. So I just trawl out the Tawny Burn on here the way we want it. wood burning so I'm going to do our block letters whatever you want doesn't have to be perfect whatever you want I'm not making it perfect or anything I'm just sketching her out I'm 
a block layer type thing. And we'll come down here and put tiny. Kind of do the T's the same way so they look the same. Alright, tiny, tiny ears. Rough out lines of what you want. It's just going to be a pattern. Tiny. And then line it up on here and you can see where you are. And we'll put burn down here in bigger letters because that's the main part of it. back of it make it fancy and just like that make the B cut that in there a little bit closer though it's a bulky really bad I say it's just a rough oak noise for now until you see what you want Just what I'm doing, you guys can do anything you want. And in. And just kind of make a little fancy line down here, I guess, just to underline it a little bit, I guess. that throw it in there I believe you guys can see that and zoom in a little bit you can see it better the tiny burn but yeah just sketched on there lightly the way I wanted it now I'll go back over it and darken it in and fill it out better the way I want it and then we'll copy it to the board kind of like around these corners a little better so I'll do that here attach that around that corner a little better Just round off my corners Just go over it quickly see what you want to change round off my corners a little better Burn it up a little bit better where you want it Just kind of go back, touch up where you want to touch it up at, if you do, sometimes you don't, sometimes you sketch it out just the way you want it. I want a little square and I want to round it off a little better. Just round off my corners a little better and stuff that I don't want to. And then I want to trace it out that I don't want them around it. trace it again. It's an advantage to doing it two or three times. You get used to your own pattern. So there. Touch it up a little bit. Make it look a little better than what I want it. Get it lined up on there. Now we take a piece of carbon paper. Black paper. You lay it down and trace on the other side and everything will come out. You lay that on the board first. 
And we lay our sign back on here again. And you can tape this down if you want to to hold it in place. If you want. A little bit of tape right here. Black tape. Any tape works. Find the end. And there it is. Yep. Cut off a couple little pieces and just touch it on the side. Doesn't need to be nothing special, just enough to hold it in place while you do it again. Don't move. Just attach the tape on the side. Hold it on either side so that it don't move from you. Yeah, on either side. Oh, then we'll take take our pencil again and go over it this time for a good one. Straighten out your lines that you want, because now it's going to be printed onto the board when you get done. Print down a little harder so it will copy over for you. Back over your lines. I'm going to straighten out where you want it now in the corners. This is going to be the final one. So do in your draft. Cut your corners where you want to. Make them round it. Go back over each letter again. And this time it will copy to the board. I'm going to show you the and then you'll have a light outline on the board. Just like that. See that? Yeah, there, see? Copied the teeth, so now it's on the board. Just a light outline, that's all it needs to be. I'll zoom back out. Put that back down. Now we go over the other letters. First down, easy. And go where you want to, don't go all jiggity jaggy this time. Make them nice good lines. Just make them nice and heavy so that they'll go through. Around your corners or whatever you're doing in your corners that you want. Get your shake down. You can still edit this again once more before you're done. So it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Round off what you want. Around it down in here. And the bottom. Fill in our little eye hole up here. Oh, there. There's the done. See? Just light. Put them back in. It's just light. Enough to cover it in. And then we finish off the rest of it. of it and while I'm finishing this up I'm going to snap on the wood burner so it will warm up for us be warm when I'm ready to get this done Trace it on the board like we want. Do it around the corners. or style in our corners that we want. Cut up there again. Around there. Trace it all out. You can see I'm pushing harder than I was. Even my lid slid on. I'm pushing harder. Again. 
line down here that we made to make it fancy. Run that in there too, give you the basic idea where you want it. Two little lines. There, now that should be transferred to our board. There it is. How good you guys can see that. It's there, barely, but it's there. It's on your burn. That's all you need to be able to sketch it over. Doesn't need to be real dirt. Enough that you can see it. Yeah, we had the burner on for a couple of seconds here, so it should be hot. Now we just take our burner and go over our lines like we want to. Now this time you have to do what you want to actually do. I'm just using a pointed tip so I can draw it in. Nice light outlines the first time. And then just fill in your lines. This part's going to take the longest. Get it the way you want. basically tracing right around them again and I use a flat tip and shade them in a little bit nice and slow it will burn as it goes let the tool do the work and there's our tea done Darken it in where you want it. It will take a minute to do this with the burner. pause us there and then when I get done that part okay here we are I skipped ahead a little bit got the outline of the burning of the letters done so you didn't have to see me outline that again now we'll switch over to a flat tool and then we'll do some shading in the letters to add some more detail into it and then that will be it put the coating on and then that will be good just get teed up a little bit and we just rub this in between the letters however you want to detail it in color it in all the way or just shadow it whatever you want to do your choice your project I'm just gonna go through and color it right in black 
give it some shade. Nice and slow along, and I'll color it right in for you. Do this in a well ventilated area, you can see the smoke that's coming off it. You don't really want to breathe that in. Maybe use a respirator or something if you need to. Mask. Slowly color it all in the way you want to. Over faster, you get lighter, lighter. Slower, you get darker. Different shades. Different angles on the thing to get different angles. You don't even have to do each other the same, do them different if you want. Color one in, dot the next one if you want to. Whatever you want to do to make it your own. Oh yeah, there's that colored in pretty good. Don't have to be perfect. Nothing in this videos or my videos are you gonna see that's perfect. There. Uh, maybe we'll change this one, we'll just do lines across this one. Side of the tool and just do some lines. On this one, you can do them any way you want to. Fill them in whatever way you want. Make it stand out more. this T again. Keep them both the same. Just to make the T stand out. simple little eye, we can just do the lines across on that again. And then we'll fill in the dot just to make that that way. And we'll dot this one again. Just to kind of stay with that pattern. And then the Y will do like some square leaves, I guess.
Alright, and then for the burn at bottom, I'm going to do that right in full for the whole thing. Just to make it really stand out. And make it really dark right around the edges. I'm not going to fill it all in, I'm just going to make it really bold lines. Turn your wood whatever way you need to to make yourself comfortable. You can do it. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna look a little 3D on this end. There. And a little depth look into it. And do the same for the other three. to see how I do this. No skipping, none of that. For this part. You can see what I do. How I do it. I'm coloring the A like I did the other O's. The other one's on the B. There. And the same for the R. Nice control on the wood burner. Turn your down. Darken the new line. Just simple, basic, basic, basic wood burning. You can do way better than this if you want to. This is just the basic basics. Showing you what I'm doing to make this sign. Quick one to get it out there. tools and tips and everything I can use on this to make different things if you want to see it leave me a comment and I'll do some more with the wood burner let me know what you want yeah here's the tiny burn 
I'm going to darken this up just a little bit more too to make it a little straighter in some places hold the tool up this way and she'll go through there fill her in in some spots and the will just dark the other tip coat of clear coat and throw over top of it throw a clear coat all the other thing would finish on top of it and you're done so, I'll pause this again and I'll show you when that's finished okay I got the clear coat over here opened up and stirred all up for us and then just a small little one inch brush just a light coat right over the top of everything all we gotta do Put that clear coat back over what you did. Just give it a nice coat right over the top of everything. Recoat the whole top of it. Seal in what you did. Put that back on there again. You can pretty much see right where it goes. You'll see the difference. Shiny versus the plain. Get a good coat on there. Spread it out nice and even. Doesn't take very much. Just a couple drops and it will coat the whole thing. And there you go. And that's clear coated for the end. There it is. The tiny barn. Sign all done. Like and subscribe to my videos for more. Come back to the tiny barn for more crafts. Thank you. Have a good day.